All right, all right, all right. What's up, world? So today, James Harden was traded away from the Philadelphia 76ers to the Clippers, along with P.J. Tucker and his $11 million left on his contract and his sneaker collection. For Kenyon Martin Jr., Robert Covington, Marcus Morris, and Nicholas Batum. I also had to finesse and finagle to trade the picks because 2K didn't do them because they don't care about us. Shout out to Tupac. And, um, and yeah, this is the Sixers now. This is it. After all those years, after the Ben Simmons, the Jimmy Butler, I mean, Tobias is still around. Maxie's great now. Now, you know, he's been playing great this season thus far, which you won't see in this because start today also doesn't work on 2K yet. They don't really care about that either. So it's time for me to take my hand in, hands into action and try to fix this thing. I think my plan right now is I'm going to try and keep Joel around for a long, as long as possible, but I'm also very aware this team needs to rebuild. They will have a lot of expiring salary this year. Tobias expires. Marcus Morris expires. They didn't re-sign. Did they re-sign Tyrese Maxey? Oh, damn. They didn't. That's crazy. They, they're going to have a lot of money in free agency. Only, only other dude except for Embiid on a multi-year deal is Paul Reed and Jaden Springer. They just offered me Patrick Williams for Tyrese Maxey. Please don't ever hit my line again, dog. I dropped a video on my uh, Clips channel, which I actually changed the name to something extravagant. It's called Click This Now. Yeah, I dropped a video of me talking about the heart and stuff. If you want to see that or, or not, whatever. In theory, though, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> like, they made a big three. Sixers gave up. He didn't want to be there. There you go. I mean, honestly, the, the Sixers ended up getting three picks from it. Three first, which I didn't even know at the time, which is pretty good. Pretty solid for a player who's literally checkmate you into trading them. I kind of wanted to see how the team would play for a good amount of games before I made any trades. And obviously they're still, they're, they're barely cracking the top eight. So, you know, MB's literally the reigning MVP. And while I'd love to be, you know, all cool and jolly and trade him away for no reason, probably not the best idea, at least like I said, for another few years. So screw it. Let's try and, um, I don't know, make some shake. The Anthony Melton, Kelly Uber and Tobias Harris for Paul George. All right. That's interesting. Um, yeah, not going to even talk to them. I, I feel like I'm going against my will as a human to make that trade. I just remember my camera could be in the bottom right of the screen because we're not in the old era anyways like i kind of want to just check who's trash who's good and then decide so marcus morris 40 percent from the field nicholas but oh my pat bev pat bev's starting because max is a shooting guard i hate this okay since there's no giving up right now bojan bogdanovich he's got two years left on his deal i think he's what on yeah he's on 40 million alec burke solid role player as well he also expires after this season but much better than these three scrubs bojan you can come over here and average you have 14 points or whatever you want to do i haven't even looked at like tendencies or anything like that his are pretty good they just have a lot of options over there in detroit like not great ones but options nonetheless okay now we're getting fun uh how does this work absolutely no clue but we could trade tobias harris alec burks in a first round pick for pascal i'll be honest the raptors aren't good enough for me to care i'll uh you know what i'm saying i didn't want to trade for paul paul george because you know it's almost like they just traded to make a big three raptors you guys are pretty terrible in real life right now they just lost to the blazers scoot has been kind of abysmal thus far this season but it's all good because you know time heals all and heals hard to walk in see you tobias out so now we got Pascal, Kelly Oubre. And yeah, I, I really, I rock with Pascal too. Um, I don't know why they're not trying to start Bogdan over Kelly Oubre. I mean, Kelly's cool too. Whoever you want to start. Kelly actually averages 16. And I don't even think he was starting the whole season. So that's, that's really good. I like Melton a lot. His numbers are, shooting numbers are pretty trash right now, but he's got kind of an all around game, two steals a game. I just found out a few, a few, uh, I think it was yesterday actually that he played for a year in Phoenix. I had no clue. I was looking at how trash the 2018, 19 NBA was. And I saw that because I was reminiscing on on a Knicks game I had went to where our starting lineup was Damian Dotson, Emmanuel Moutier, Kevin Knox, Mario Hazonia, and DeAndre Jordan. So uh, I was just trying to think of how bad that team, obviously it'd be the worst team in the NBA. It was the worst team then, but I was trying to figure out who the worst team in the NBA is now. Let me know who's the worst team in the NBA right now. Who do you think will have the worst record? Is it, it's, it's the Wizards, maybe the Spurs, if Victor really don't, you know, elevate them. Maybe it's the Blazers still out of no clue. Um, There's probably a few more. I, I guess it could still technically be the Pistons if they want to decide to do that. Magic are probably too far ahead in their development probably not the pistons though i don't know who the hell it is shoot honestly i can see it being the jazz but not really oh i, I think the grizzlies are zero and five right now without ja does the anthony melton will resign do i want to resign him right now no honestly just because i said i rock with the anthony melton screw it he's 25 as well always be a serviceable asset i also wait did i turn injuries off because i swear i did i did but i don't want to i like the adversity the agony you have to go through as a human there you go turn him back on why not let it fly shout out to chris oh yeah um <laughs> i dropped the video of james harden's clip trade simulation and uh i haven't acknowledged that yet the second the trade got announced i apologize the video was on 2k23 and uh some of the details weren't correct but i thought it'd be funny i've had that video sitting there since july all the comments are hilarious because they're all oh where's russell westbrook oh uh, he wasn't in the deal first of all i didn't put him in the deal you idiot he was a free agent secondly actually i might have four points right now secondly i'm about to check the clippers right now for you and tell you how they're doing in this modern era modern game um they are the fourth seed 27 and 17 that's pretty okay we're also 27 and 17.
17 now post them trades and everything thirdly dog it's russell westbrook he's like a 77 overall these days if you don't relax yo it's actually and, and by the way i i actually rock with russell westbrook like i really enjoyed watching him in the playoffs with the whole new role he's got where he's just kind of aggravating and plays really good defense but i seen some dude i, I randomly clicked on an espn video and some dude was saying oh man they 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 can't use james harden they you know they got to put him off the bench and because they already got such a great thing going with westbrook Kawhi, and and, and uh, i'm and i'm like yo this is mental illness this is actually th there's something wrong with you <laughs> there's there's a, they would literally send russell westbrook to guangdong to start james harden i'm sorry to break it to you but like it's a it's it's a new day you know what i mean joel Embiid got injured that's sad maybe i don't want injuries on oh they injured dennis mcjr for the season you know what yeah never mind take off injuries i'm over here acting like i'm high and mighty uh happy halloween just a random thought i think i just heard some kids walking up to my front door so that's why i thought of that and in case you didn't see um oh i don't think i had my fourth point i got off yet yeah screw it that was enough and in case you didn't see i dropped a pretty big video on my second channel where i was just kind of talking honestly about a lot of things and um i also talked about my last nba script video but i've just been kind of doing stuff on this channel for like two years now that i didn't really care about now, i won't lie i actually do rock with rebuilds like one of my favorite times of the year is every year when all the teams start getting eliminated and i can start spamming rebuilds of all the teams because you know why think about this right on a day-to-day -day basis i have to conjure up ideas that i have no clue if people will care about ever like and when stuff happens in real life like this it's intriguing but also honestly i'm kind of tired of just sitting and simulating teams and seasons away don't really care um I, I like doing some rebuilds though sometimes but i'm trying to get in my bag oh actually i'm trying to get out of my bag i'll be honest with you just watch the video it'll make sense unless you don't care if you don't care you don't care it's all good we'll live queue it up hit the watch later i already know you get you got a deep watch later you got a thousand videos in your watch later me personally i got thousands of videos in my watch later and guess what i never watched them later why is saying d'anthony melton and offered will resign i already offered this a, a millennia ago wait did, wait did he did he go decline it i didn't even realize if he declined it oh he did decline it oh wow i probably looked real stupid oh furcon cork mods there was something about how some dude actually just mentioned me i forgot we had kenny martin some dude had just mentioned me and said uh do a cork mod simulation or something because the sixers tried to trade him and nobody wanted him the clippers didn't want him either they they john moran wins mvp victor rookie of the year chris paul six man Giannis dpoi yada yada bada bing joel makes the second team he averaged 27 and 13 actually it's probably a good sign that his scoring went down so i think we got better he was our only all nba player matter of fact actually and i know it's the playoffs it's kind of a bad time to check this but yeah maxi's shot tendency is a 70 okay he still averaged 21 but i'm gonna put it up to 80 I'm, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy he should be way higher because he's got to be a crazy high option for this team uh, i think the, the trades we made were great and it looks like they were siakam actually averaged less points than kelly Oubre, which is kind of crazy i don't even know how that's possible like he averaged 24 last season he still has an 80 shot tendency his damn self and he averaged that little amount of point i mean hey that works I, he's efficient uh, i guess kelly's just inefficient in a shot chucker it looks like our plan we're actually the second seed so see i mean you would assume this is a pretty good team the also the east is so jam-packed it's wild i mean the league the league is so jam-packed it's wild we're playing against milwaukee how are they in the play-in i accidentally just simulated game one i wanted to sim cast it because this is already an elite series off the rip sixers win this one 133 115 lillard had 35 Giannis had 29 but our team just dominated them i guess as a as a whole get more minutes to bog bojan i mean sure if you want might need him this game because damn we are uh eh, we're still in it nope lost by 14 Ubre had 25 though so i don't know if we should be you know what i'm saying benching him immediately if they definitely tell me to bench Ubre, right yeah oh he i think he already was benched. okay whatever won the next one as well damn getting these getting these frauds out of here dame on the east is just shoot andre miller with a three-point shot that's disrespectful to andre miller actually I remember one of his last years in the nba andre miller was on the nuggets and he was dominated against the uh the warriors i think they still lost but it was what he was on the i just said he was on the nuggets yeah all right the bucks are kind of molly whopping us in this one 22 point win joel had 31 10 and 6 but low had 40 and 5 Giannis 29 and 14 uh, the whole team damn near had 20 points it's now game seven just like that am i gonna adjust anything no I th did we just blow a 3-0 lead a 3-0 lead 3-1 um i want to trade joel i want to give up <laughs> today, today this is it this is it man the grizzlies will win the championship even after ja, ja was probably not injured or whatever you know what i mean taken away from the league in this and by the way the bucks went to the final so we did go to seven with the bucks they went to seven two more times though so i guess it's not that impressive the hawks being one of them shout out to a hey, i've loved seeing Jalen. you know Jalen johnson very very talented player i've seen him play a lot it was crazy i opened up my comment section and i just seen some dude on I, you know it was my video where i was um rewriting the nba script for the 2010s like you hate atlanta off of some and i'm the worst part is that there's no timestamp, so i have no clue what he's talking about bro i don't hate anybody i have no enemies come on now i guess to be fair in that video i was making a lot of decisions like controlling literally the league
league. So maybe I maybe I, I, I smoked Atlanta or something. My bad. <laughs> like, damn, it's hard to manage all 30 NBA teams. James Johnson retired. He can go be a black belt. I've probably said that 40,000 times. LeBron's out of here, too. Draft lottery. It, it's a lot going on in here. Obviously, we're not up there. Thunder get the number one pick from Houston. I'm not fixing no draft. If 2K messed up, they messed up. Screw them. But that being said, is Embiid on Untouchables? Yeah, we're moving from Untouchables. Can I see what trade offers I would get from him, hypothetically? Okay, Garland. The second pick in Kuzma. Hilarious. Anthony Edwards. The first pick in Lou Dort. Amen Thompson. Actually, kind of cool. Brunson. Mar There's actually a lot of offers a second year moving from Untouchable. See, now I feel like doing like how... Now that, that I get to this trade screen, I'm fiending like how I was in my NBA script video to write up a really interesting trade and just do it. Even though, you know what I'm saying? Like on some non-rebuild stuff, but on some unrealistic... I might start doing that. Shoot, innovation is always key. Because it's like how many trades can you get? You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to do all this. If I think something's realistic, maybe it just is. But the first pick for Embiid... Now, this is the Thunder. It would be, you know, beneficial for the Thunder to start to look towards. You know what I'm saying? But I would need Giddy, though. I'm sorry. I'm going to need Giddy in the first pick. And I'm going to need... Uh, and I'm going to need Chet. And matter of fact, while we're at it, let me get Shea, too. Um, Yeah, I definitely would not override that one. Okay, so I will say this. In this video, I, I do want to keep Joel. But I'm going to have to finesse the hell out of the league in order to make that a feasible thing. You know, a thing where that's... uh Yeah. So that means Bogdan Bogdanovic uh paul reed for this for the first pick okay not that uh we'll throw in schroeder too you could have him and then we'll throw in a second round pick this year a second round pick next year and whatever first pick we got from you guys how about this 23rd pick as well no i didn't want to throw in melton i said i liked him but i might do that as well shoot springer you want him oh that was the difference maker okay we just got the first pick in the draft so nick nurse you could stick around i saw a video of scotty barnes just blatantly sit, like making it clear that he didn't even like nick nurse which was funny von holland's number one one. Oh, is uh, I was thinking this year was what's his name? I mean, he's got he's got LeBron, um, you know, potential, so that's cool. But I genuinely thought in my mind that number one was Cooper Flag, but no, that's in another year. Okay, Philly number one overall. Yeah, I'll take Ron Holland. Thanks. We have another first round pick, which I'll take that as well. Oh wait, I just seen who I seen. Bronny James still available. Twenty three. Let's go. Second round picks. We can go with Dylan Mitchell. Crazy name. I don't even know if I'm gonna sign you, but I'm gonna draft you just for that name. And after that, I honestly, I don't even want. My, does anybody want my last pick? You want it? Wow, that's crazy. Warriors, here you go, man. Thanks. Oh, yeah, they're, they're exactly correct. I don't want to sign. I'll give him a two-way contract. There you go. Oh, never mind. All right, see ya. And the last thing I haven't really thought about is, well, yes, Tyrese is, is qualified. Um, hey, how you doing? Old friend. Uh, Pascal's the second best player in free agency still. I'll just go re-sign him. Oh, Westbrook's actually, he's still at 80-plus overall. Good for him, man. My bad. I was saying a little bit too much. And no, I, I know that he matters in 2K. You know what I'm saying? He got good tendencies and everything. But, dog, I made the video five months ago for fun. I mean, not for fun. I thought it was going to happen. I, I, I had that's an inkling of, of just say, you know, I give him a front loaded contract. He's 30 years old, but you know, we kind of need him though. If I'm trying to contend with MB, we going to need him. Maxi, I'm going to try and finesse you as well. They're both on bird rights, so we should have enough money for him. That should get rid of all of our money. And then we could bring back Covington. I get, eh, they're even really good. 33 mid. Yeah, no, I'm good. Actually, you can, you can get the step in. I'm going to just make sure those two come back, I think. And then, you know, go from there. I mean, is there any like minimum players out here? If you look at our team right now. It's just Ron Holland, uh, Brian. Ronnie James is going to be our backup or something like that. Ron Holland at the three, Dylan Mitchell. So we kind of just need whatever backup's best and most affordable at whatever position possible. Uh, sounds like Gordon Hayward could be that. Yeah, minimum. Sign him to a two-year minimum. Why not? Cool. I got all three of those guys. Any other minimum contracts? I got to do that more often. Just finesse the minimums while I still got time. Yeah, Monte Morris, you could pull up if you want. Pat Will over here asking for $20 million over over anybody's dead body. Luke Kennard. Kenya Martin, I was about to say, it doesn't seem like he likes us anymore. And he's not even restricted or burned rights or anything that's kind of oh i think because he was a second round pick i'm pretty sure yeah he was we could take kyle anderson for the hell of it i haven't signed an Embiid, but oh there goes one. Oh, don't have any more offers andre drummond our savior welcome back to philly and we should i was about to say we should get every player they're all minimum so they don't affect the salary and there you go a fantastic team just like that sign the whole world this is an off season they'd be going crazy for in real life if maybe the cpu should just, should just get better and not allow me to do this i don't know this means we could start maxi with morris as the backup brownie's probably not gonna play that much this season and we have a starter and a backup of every position sounds good to me any young players out there that want to sign here I, I wait hold on i just seen this dude man why not man pull up damn Jalen duren's out here we don't got money right now any sixers legends out here oh paul reed pull back up damn how did the did the thunder release him because we traded him in that deal huh all right i'm simulating now this mb went down one rest of the team seems fine
on except for Hayward, but we'll be all right. Why are they starting Hayward? What is Nick Nurse on? Man, prioritize young players real quick. Thank you. Ron Holland in the rotation. My goodness. Hey, we're not even a rotation player right now. I don't know what the hell that was about. Um, We can turn it to auto auto subs, though. Auto whatever, all this stuff, because I don't really care about none of that stuff. I'm I'm literally trusting the process, but we're also still in the process. You know what I'm saying? This, this is a very good team. Um, They just need to lock in. And if they don't lock in, I'll, I'll be here for a while if need be. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if Embiid's 34 and it's looking like it's over, he starts to really regress. I'm going to send you to, you know what I'm saying, back to Cameroon. Shoot, to, to Europe. I don't care. The Euro League, the LaMelo Ball NBL League. We're going to process. We're going to process this and process the team back. Victor just made his first all-star team. Having Mobley one time all-star. Damn, I just I just breezed past the trade deadline. Um, if I had to guess though, wait, let me see. We're second best in the conference. That's pretty good. Shout out to the Knicks. You know what I'm saying? Tie with us. Shouldn't really really be shouting out an opponent right now, but it's all good. You know, what I would have done, which would have been smart if I would have realized the trade deadline. If I really wanted to lock in and get toxic, I would have traded all the one-year contract players' assets. But it, it's all good. Hopefully, we just win. Speaking of winning, what about like that system proficiency stuff? All that, all that. That hella blue. Uh active active system perimeter. I'll go balance. They got Maxi playing the most minutes on the team. Oh, I have the, the progressive fatigue on. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even put in that on when I have injuries on. That stuff is annoying. Team chemistry. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Because I don't think there's a way to deduct how much progressive fatigue matters in the NBA. Because I think it's also relative to each player in their own. You know, I'm not no expert on on whatever the hell they're doing, but I, I feel like it'd be pretty, pretty player dependent. Glenn Davis not gonna have the same player fatigue conditioning all that stuff is Giannis Jokic MVP Ron Holland rookie of the year 16 6 and 2 for us Bones Highland most improved in LAC did Harden leave Joel makes the second team averaging 25 and 11 good the stats are getting lower that means the team must be better Maxi averaged 25 this season which is just about the same as Joel if not no he was the leader of the team in scoring now, that's actually pretty cool the 18 Ron Holland 16 and the rest hey, I forgot we lost Kelly Oubre too I guess he didn't have no oh yeah because he eh, I don't know I don't even remember how they had signed like a minimum just a few months ago. Why did Andre Drummond solely not play in one game? And Ron Holland got benched for one game. And it was for Gordon Hayward. Of course it was. First round we're playing the Pacers. Made it out of there. And, and also too, we're the first seed. 56 and 26. Second round, smoked the Hawks. So yeah. And the Cavs conference finals. Same old team. Same that you'd see right now. Minus Max Struess has been going crazy in real life. 2-2. Two, 3-2 two, two us. 4-2 us. Joel and Zion conference MVPs were playing the Pelicans who were the second seed in the in the nba finals it's just the same old team except they finessed and got scrounged up robert williams for wherever he came from i mean i know he's from portland yeah i guess for whatever they got him for i have no clue oh they, they oh they traded herb jones for him i mean good for the team that kind of you know i like herb jones though like good for their their actual starting lineup but especially because dyson developed so much in 2k might as well 34 15 and 6 from mb 26 from maxi so on and so forth the win game one by almost 30 game two another win 36 and 13 from Embiid. Zion just not doing it like Joel right now. Maybe he is. Never mind. Maybe he's actually doing it better. No, we we uh we came back a lot in the second half, but still lost by five. Ingram had 25. I'm not gonna lie, I turned off my face cam because I was tired of the lights in my face. I don't be realizing. Hey, shout to the mother creators. They be having these lights all in their face for hours, dog. Relax. Like damn, my my pupils, my uh my corneas. You know what I'm saying? Shout to corneas. Anyways, why did Zion just drop 45? It's two to two okay cool one another game oh did not mean to click play game why are we starting luke Kennard? you know what i'll let them i'll let them do their job pascal had 40 in this game in this win that is true we do have a pretty good defender on zion but uh, i think the knicks are playing the pelicans a few days ago and zion just bullies julius Randle. it's funny because julius Randle is one hell of a grown man like he built like a you know what i'm saying like a big body grown man and he it pushed out the way by zion a lot of the time i mean zion is like 6'6 six, six, two, 280 hey and this is game seven right here and guess who's winning We've done it. The Sixers. Yeah, NBA champions. 40 and 12 from MB, 37 and 10 from Zion. All right, so I definitely ended the video right there earlier. But you know what? I'm going to continue it off vibes and pure love for the game. We're going to try and make a dynasty like like how I be doing sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Probably traded all my picks for that first pick, right? By the way, it ain't been that long. I, I recorded this video. I recorded the beginning part like an hour ago. Don't worry. Okay, we got the 24th pick from OKC. Do I want to keep it or do I want to finesse again? Now, Pascal is 31. He averaged 18, though. And we just want a ring. Ideally, I would want to keep him around. I'm going to see if he regresses. If he regresses, I'm going to look to trade him at the trade deadline. For now, though, I don't want to trade him off my championship team right before the draft happens. 
signs. Really, all I got to do this year, though, is just sign back a slew of free agents. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Bronny, too. Damn. I and mean, shoot, maybe I'll even prepare for post Embiid at this point. Who knows? We'll see. And I don't mean blow post Embiid. I mean, like, after Embiid, the days after, the, the, the dark days, which are the dark days at this point because we've won a championship with them. So, I, you know what I'm saying? Screw it. I'll see if anybody good's available at 24. I don't I don't think we have the facilities to trade up. I'm not trading Maxi, obviously. I'm not trading anybody else. Oh, I forgot about Cooper Flag, though. Damn. Eh, whatever. Who cares? You know, keyword, I'll see if this can be a dynasty. It might not even be possible. Carter Bryant, you're a 75. Screw it. You could pull up. Mix the name of Vince Carter and Kobe Bryant. I mean, you should be okay. He's a 76. It's actually pretty good. And he might play first year. Dylan Mitchell, you're a 72. Why not accept your option? If they're actually telling me to accept this option, he must be good. And this dude must not be good. Sorry, Burke. It's all business now. We had our fun. I have enough money to where I could sign actually a lot of good players. I could sign Brogdon, Van Vliet, Derek White, Chris Paul, 40 year old self. We actually had Bogdanovich all them years ago. I could just go get him back. So as of right now, Bro okay, Bronny's for sure the backup point next year. I might go and get Derek White to be a better starting too. Gonna need another three as well. And then another center. Let me offer Derek White that bag. Go, we go the three years, but you know, how, does he have any offers yet? No, but front his contract for three years. Yeah, he'll probably be good for that long at least. And then off of like minimum guys, Gordon's getting pretty old. So Kogi, you want a minimum? Yeah, cool dude, Phoenix guy. We'll give him two years. That rookie could play the backup four. Then at five, wasn't Drummond just here? Yeah, let, let's get, you, you can't go wrong with Andre Drummond on a fine sunny day. You know what I noticed recently that like, I know that we're always talking about like the NBA rapper, NBA players, but there's a few of them that kind of just get forgotten in time. And Andre Drummond's one of them. Like Andre Drummond has songs out, Aaron Gordon. Um, Why are they telling me to get Burke back, dog? I clearly don't want Burke back. I forgot about Monte Morris. Yeah, you're going you to get packed for a uh... okay, shout out to Peyton Watson. This dude is a absolute demon in real life. Blocking shots, playing. I'm always, I'm a fiend for great defense. I can't, I don't be having the time to watch every NBA game. Actually, I'm definitely about to hit on the Knicks game on the side while I'm still doing this. But uh, oh, Luke Kennard though, didn't, so he was starting for a lot of our run, right? He started for 20 games. I might go get him back too, actually. Yeah, let's look, let, let's let Luke Kennard continue to cook. Come on now, 29 years old. Let's get you on a three-year deal, front contract. All right, I might be everybody we need, honestly. But you know me, when I was about 15 years old, I seen Frank Nielakina play and my life changed forever. I should have signed another power forward since this dude's young. You know what though? He'll be all right. Oh, I lied. We still got enough money for Trey Murphy. We gonna bolster up this team as much as possible. Let's cook, let's cook, let's cook. Damn, like how much money did we have? Oh no, we were, we were, we actually, no, damn, wait. Are we just, I think we're just at the salary cap. Yeah, we're just over it. That's actually pretty interesting. I'm usually, I feel like I'm usually a million dollars over the cap. Oh, why the hell did he accept this? I didn't tell him to accept that. I'm gonna have to trade him. Oh my, Embiid already went up down by two. Yeah, Maxi, Ron Holland, you guys are gonna need to lock in. Derek White, since you're here now, I think I'm gonna need to release somebody. Never mind, I didn't have to release not a soul. Paolo makes the all star team. I don't know why, I just felt like giving him his respect. Joel Embiid's on the bench of the all star team with the likes of Julius Randle. Damn, Jared Allen got here again. Shout out to uh, Jared Allen and, and Darius Garland for sitting out of the Knicks game today uh, against the Cavs. I appreciate it greatly, even if we lose. I appreciate the gesture. We are the number three seed behind Chicago and the Magic. Oh, damn. The Bulls got what the hell? Cat got traded from Minnesota to Phoenix, then Phoenix to Chicago. And I swear, yeah, I did see them get Cooper Flag in the draft. He's helping out a lot for sure, but they got healthy Lonzo, Levine, Carl Towns, and Nikola Topic or Topic. Funnily, I, I could have just said Topic, but it's let's be honest, it's probably Topic. One of my friends in my fantasy league, I just saw jo uh, Lamelo Ball right here. He just tried to. He's a Pistons fan though, but he tried to trade Lamelo Ball for Cade Cunningham, and we're only a week in. I had to veto it because they were 20 picks apart in the draft that we just did a few weeks ago. So I'm like, I don't care if you want Cade, dog. I'm not about to let the dude he was trading him to has AD and Giannis already. So you're going to give him AD, Giannis, and LaMelo. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I think Cade's going to have a great year. I think LaMelo's going to have a great year, but I can't, I can't do that. Just, you know what I'm saying? I can't, not a weekend though. Joel Embiid wants to re-sign right now. Now I will say, yes, we can make this happen because, okay, hold on. He, oh, okay. Okay. So he's got a player option of one plus one. So this year he'd be a free agent. Yeah. Even though it doesn't show that stupid color anymore, I, I would have been, that would have been fire if it was still green because I don't know why they would get rid of that, but it says player option right there on the left side where it says option and then player. So I'd rather him not go into free agency where we're still a contending team. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, I got to take that hit now and re-sign him. I was going to say, if he had two years left, I would just let him wait until next year. Then we can get him for even less because he'll be worse. But at this point in time, here you go. Yep. He accepted that. Nice. I signed most of our players to multi-year deals this time around. And actually Bronny James still isn't playing, which I wish he could, but yeah, I guess it's how the cookie crumbles. I don't know. Trade deadline hasn't passed yet though. I, I could make another move to maybe. So, I mean, I don't know. The Bulls are just good because of Cooper, I guess. And the Magic, I mean, they have Paolo. To be fair, around this time last year, oh, they got Paolo and Jalen Green. Around this time last year, we were also like the third seed and then just had a great second half of the season.
Siakam. But assuming that this is maybe a sign that we need to be better. Well, actually, I didn't see I don't think Siakam even got worse, if I'm being honest. He usually stays. I feel like in these Sims, he usually stays about the same overall to we're like at like he's 35. And how is he playing this season? Uh, efficient, really? Oh, very, very efficient. Very solid. I mean, the team is very good, so you'd assume he'd be efficient. Screw it. I'm gonna let it rock. If things go wrong, we'll evaluate in the offseason. Luca wins MVP. Cooper Flag, rookie of the year. Brad Beal, six man in Minnesota. Damn, Minnesota, Brad Beal. Now, obviously, he hasn't played in Phoenix yet, but I think he'd be interesting in Minnesota if they imagine if they had, even if it was one of the two centers, Gobert or Cat, him and Edwards, like a like a prime Brad Beal, though. I don't know how he's looking right now. There's been some concerns with his injury that he's having right now. But him and Edwards, because this is the thing, when it comes to Brad Beal and Phoenix, I understand the concept of just getting talent for the sake of getting talent because it might work out really well. But I, I question how much different he plays than Devin Booker and if that if they coexist to a beneficial level, if that makes any sense. Whereas like Chris Paul, like really good Chris Paul for them, obviously brought something such so different than Devin Booker does. But that being said, though, Bill's gotten better at passing the past few years, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like literally 2022, he averaged seven assists. So and even even Booker himself, I don't think it'll be a bad thing. But I was just thinking of him next to someone like Edwards, who is more of like a pretty primary scoring guard. I mean, Booker is too, but you know what I mean? I think Booker's developed as an overall ball handler as well. School clutch player, coach of the year, Billy Donovan. Also, yeah, and B did not make it all NBA. We had no players on none of these teams. Damn, I saw Jet Howard on the rookie second team. It was funny. I made a trade in the video recently. I saw the comments flaming me for it. And it was that I traded a ton of picks for like Jet Howard and Anthony Black. And I forget why I did it. <laughs> I think it was because I was just like, oh, screwed. I'll get players right now that will develop, but they didn't develop, though. I'll be honest. For the second seed after Chicago. Okay, so there's a clear gap after us. So we're pretty close to the, the Chi Town team. Playing the Raptors. Wow, we are down 2 0 to the Raptors off rip. Any adjustments need to be made? I don't know, but something's going wrong. Okay, there you go. One win, two wins. Down 3 2. And we just lost in the first round of Toronto. Okay, let's do a deep, deep evaluation of what just happened here. I'm getting in my, like, my league series bag right now okay so Derek white terrible okay cool good to know uh you will never see the court again and bead good but like and the reason why i say i bring him up is because getting a bit more mediocre for his overall i could see myself maybe trading him bead honestly if he's gonna be putting up clint capella numbers i'll just go trade for clint capella but maxi though 33 points per game was trying to save us trey murphy also terrible shooting but at least he was good during the season was Derek white oh yeah he was as well damn and bead was the only one with a severe drop off compared to what we expected out of them let me see okay so like this game we win this game we also win this game we lose by six this game we lose by 30. what goes wrong here it, it looks like a lot we shot 12 percent worse than them had less assists less rebounds and this is to the seventh seed dog this is they got jabari on oh, jalen smith yeah something's gonna change you can't get changed without change paulo and isaiah collier both both make it and paulo wins finals mvp steph curry retired we have the 28th pick in the draft it's, it's just our own there's actually no trade offers for mb damn we wait hold on we just played the pelicans in the finals and now they have the first pick okay uh <laughs> i just traded joel mb for the first overall pick and i had to trade josh Kogi too we got the first overall pick in the draft welcome to philadelphia oh boy aj debonsta or cameron boozer and i know where i'm going cameron boozer welcome to the team center of the future oh boy magic <laughs> <laughs> this will be one of the craziest drafts ever. They traded Kawhi number two. Good thing I continue this because it's Kawhi number two to the Suns for AJ DeBonsta for Kawhi. Hey, okay, so you want to talk again? Hey, honestly, I would trade Siaka for the third pick if they want to talk for real. I know it might, might seem a bit insane. Okay, and Boozer. Oh, oh, it is there. If I want, if I wanted it, it really is there. Now I'm talking a little bit too much because is there any other player that I would want? See, I don't know who Darren Peterson is. I don't think Caden Boozer ends up good enough. Cole Pete was really good last year. I think I'm just going to stick with my team because I don't know if any of these players are worth this this uh, trade right here. Cam Booz's rating was a B. Koa Pete's is a, is a B minus. I still want to contend, actually. My plan with this is I know Cam Booz is going to take up a lot of money off rip. It, whatever money I got to make up, I'm trying to look for another star in free agency. We just got off of $30 million with Embiid, if not 50. I forget what it was. So I'll trade any role players, all that for picks, whatever. I'm trying to get a different star in free agency, continue building around Maxi. I think that's the thing that really 
makes the Sixers conflicted in real life right now or should is that Maxi's really good. And like if they trade Embiid within the next year, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a dilemma because Maxi, you, you want to keep him for a good amount of time. He's only 25 in this sim and I'm like three, four years in. Speaking of trading for picks though, actually, no, I don't want current picks. I was about to say, I don't want picks I got to make in this draft because I, if I was to trade these guys for picks, it wouldn't be in this draft. I'd be wanting to save money towards the future. You know what I'm saying? Even Derek White, even Trey Murphy. I'd trade them all if I need to, to make, you know what I'm saying? Some big time. And speaking of that, with all due respect to this 28th pick, Kick Rocks, uh, two seconds though, that's kind of trash. That is kind of trash, but whatever. I'll, I'll deal with it. I don't want the pick. I don't even know who's available in free agency or what, but we got Cam Boozer for Joel Embiid. Joel's probably going to go down to like an 89 and Cam's going to go up to like an 89 within one season. And Bronny gets to join the rotation this season for sure. All right, free. Ooh. Okay, bet. Bet. So Luca, 52. We are literally 2 million over. Okay, let's get some of these role players out of here. Now they know that we've been a contending team. We literally just won. And Embiid was the finals MVP. Traded him. Didn't care. You got your ring. Enjoy it. Um, Do I get Trey Murphy? I rock with Trey Murphy, but 6 million is like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Drummond is 32, but it's Drummond though. I, I'll, I'll trade him if I need to. This is the thing though. I'm going to start off with just, all right, two first from Houston for Luke Kennard. Bang. Give me that. Can I even offer, just offer Luca now? Okay, I can. I can offer him the max possible, I believe, that any team can offer, I would assume. Let me even check. I'm going to trade one more player. Just I think Melton, it's been real dog. We got a ring together. I don't know though. I kind of want to just trade Drummond. Yeah, screw it. I'll get Andre out of here. He's older anyways. Melton could still be a valuable player towards the future. Another two first from the Thunder. Screw it. I'll take it. Probably a bad idea because one of them was protected. I think I just got the backup for that same protection. So that's kind of, you know, counter counteractive. But um, yeah, whatever. I could offer Luca all of this. This is the best thing I could possibly do. Sixers, we are number one now. We got a bunch of teams giving them no trade clauses, but guess what? They're giving them $10. No, I'm giving them a hundred million dollars. Definitely him over Durant for sure, especially in 2K. I'm not even considering that KD's as old as he is. He'd just be stinking it up in a lot of these uh, sims. If Luca's going to come here, I don't even need to think about any of the other players, but I'll still, I'll offer Fox just in case since he has no offers. Oh boy, Luca with Luca with Cameron Boozer, Siakam, Ron Holland, and Maxi. That's starting five. Oh my, oh, hum diddly. Did I even get rid of Trey Murphy yet? No, I didn't. Damn. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy team. All right, come on. Yep, Luca has signed. It is official. I could go out and get some, uh, I can go out and get some minimum players if I want to. So Luca's obviously going to play, I guess, the two, one or two, whatever. Either one works. I think Maxi will probably go. Oh, Maxi goes up at the two. Oh, yeah, no. Maxi's going to be the two. Luca will stay at the one. Bronny will be his backup. Then we got White and Melton. We got a backup four. Oh, my. Yeah, none. Uh, we need a backup center and maybe one more small forward. And that's it. And now, this is affordable centers, but we need a really affordable center, which might be Kevon Looney, who gets a lot of rebounds and gets out the way. Could also be Nurk. Ah, he looks like he's missing a lot of shots. Gafford, how do you play? Not enough rebounds for me. Five rebounds from a center. You know, though, he averaged 10 and 10 with Washington. Maybe he'd be okay. Why his headband breaking? I'm gonna grab the other McDaniels brother, Jalen McDaniels, bring him on the team as well. These will be my three signings. I'm gonna just sit with these for now. Hopefully they all, yep, they all work. Luca, welcome to the team. Boy, oh boy. I do think how you perform in the seasons obviously helps you sign free agents to so to trade the best player and get a better player is crazy we have 12 players right now so i could still sign shoot whoever who mitchell robinson i have enough i have 12 million dollars because that's honestly like a one of them good centers that don't be missing shots are like genuinely you know what i'm saying franchise changing players in this i guess this is just mle at this point yeah i guess so yeah make sure he he pulls up yep mitchell robinson welcome he's gonna be our backup for a minute forget daniel gaffer you'll be around but uh boozer's for sure gonna be starting but mitchell robinson 84 overall is the backup my dog you know what's crazy actually i found a tweet from myself from a few days uh from a few years ago and i said uh which is crazy because it was kind of pro prophetic you you could fact check this if you look up my name and look up what i've tweeted i tweeted actually on january 1st 2020 that i want to see mitchell robinson surrounded by a successful basketball team so badly imagine this man in the playoffs and i was right that man was a dog in the playoffs i'm mad he wasn't healthy our first time in the playoffs that's what actually uh, i don't think i don't think he played or maybe he barely played all right i'm signing a bunch of scrubs that i don't even need to look at it really all right cool player progression Derek white got a little bit older see i told you siakam's still at 87 like as long as you're still in this range you're still good you're still pascal works with me i bought a uh, tendencies you know because these do update but i haven't checked these like for example maxi i you vividly remember, i set up to an 80 and he's not 80 anymore he's a 91 on shot tendency hey, here goes some players going down going up whatever i don't know why trey murphy's going down you're a great score like look this is last year in real life 15 points per game unless with zion injured but still he's a fantastic shooter he probably has like a 95 three-point shot okay 86 i thought it would have developed by now but anyways damn Bronny is still 
a 77? Yeah, he might never hit the rotation. I can't even lie. Maybe it's my fault. I think it actually is my fault. He might have just not hit his ceiling because he didn't play. Because I've never... This is the thing. Let's be honest. His last name is James. So every single roster I've ever seen Bronny in, he's been abnormally good. Because they don't be doing that for any player that isn't named, you know what I'm saying, LeBron James Jr. But that being said, I think his tendencies are probably still good. And I would want him to play. Yeah, they're really good. But I don't want to just get rid of all three players above him. With that being said, I don't want to edit anything. This team should be good enough to be just fine out there. Also, Mitchell Robinson is starting. We don't have the same coach anymore. I'm going to prioritize young players a little bit. See if they'll put in. Yeah, they put in Boozer now. Feed the post. Get the hell out of here. This old school offense. I always show this, but this is what I do right here. Play physical. Um, Some crash. Probably set the system proficiency. To, it is on balanced already. Is that the best one? It looks like it is. And simulate the season. Go, go cook. Go put ball in hoop. It's nice to finally be on the winning end of seeing where Luca randomly leaves in the middle of a simulation. Oh man, it's team Luca. We got the best player in the league. We lucked into him. Philly, we up. I wonder how Luca would respond to the Philly criticism. Shout out to all the peaceful Philly. Shout, shout out to you if you're watching this and you're a peaceful person from Philadelphia because the way they be painting y'all is like it's Rikers Island over there 24-7. Anthony Melton, you want to resign? Minimum. Front contract. Hey, you're stupid for taking it. There you go. And they got Mitchell Robinson back in the starting five again. Is he actually playing that much better than Boozer? I mean, let's be honest. We have Luka Doncic. It don't matter anyways. We are the best team in the East right now. But I would think that Boozer would be way better. Oh, they, they just took him out of the rotation. He'll, he'll be back. But yeah, they're both great. You know what I'm saying? Both great players. And yeah, I didn't make any trade, de trade deadline trades. I don't care. Luka wins MVP for us. Cam Boozer wins Rookie of the Year for us. Sar Thompson, six man in the Pistons. Shet, there you go. Dylan Harper, Dame Lillard, clutch player. Brian Gates, coach of the year. Luka, all NBA first team. And Luka, all defensive second team. You know, it's funny. I'd be like doing these rebuilds and I'm like scared that I'm going to do too much. It's going to seem too crazy. But have we seen how crazy the NBA has moved? I'm, I'm saying this for myself, by the way. I'm talking to myself because I'd be making these videos and I'm over here overthinking about, oh, I'm doing too much when James Harden went from a 10 year lifetime player with a team to now he's on his 85th team. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, the only player that don't be moving around teams is Steph. Even LeBron has went to four, three, I mean, technically four different teams, but three different franchises. You know what I mean? He went back for the first seed, 63 wins, over 10 wins better than anybody else. You know what else actually exists? Um, There's the play in tournament now, or not the play in, the, the in season tournament. I don't even know how that works. I don't even, is it in the league history now? Like season awards? It isn't. I have no clue. How how that works is it something you even put on like the resume all in all team selections i'm it ain't the all-star season awards player of the week player of the month not in here damn there was no april player what the hell we're, we're in what's it called i mean oh wow is that a 2k glitch do they wait until april actually ends or is that after the play -in? let me see nope it still ain't it, it should have been done by now but it is what it is first round against the pacers they we lost to toronto last year so it'd be i mean the team's entirely different now because it's luca Okay, second round against Brooklyn. We made it out of there in six against the Pacers. Brooklyn, they got Miles Bridges now instead of Mikhail and Cade, weirdly enough. And we're going to sweep them. And Orlando, who won the ring last year, by the way, we sweep them. Oh, wow. They're the... Wait, what? Didn't Kawhi get traded to the Suns? We literally watched it happen. What happened? What? I have to see. Bro, I swear he got traded to the Suns. I was literally talking about the Suns. How was he on the Magic? How is this possible? Maybe I'm tweaking. Someone go back. Maybe me. I don't know. But how the hell did Kawhi get to Orlando? Because this is the thing. It was the second overall pick he got traded for. How did he? Man, I'm about to save the clip. of. I, I don't want to end my recording right now. I'm about to save the last 30 minutes or something and go look. Because we just traded Embiid away this season. Okay, so here's me trading away Embiid. They, wait, did they not have the pick? Hold on. Oh, snap. Orlando did have the pick. It was just Phoenix's pick. So they had finesse. They finessed the Suns. Wow, that, that's, that actually makes makes it even crazier because yeah orlando won the ring last year so that that actually made perfect sense for them to trade the pick but it looks like paulo just sold oh my yeah paulo shot almost 10 percent less eight percent less in the playoffs and 10 percent less from three but we're, we're turning up so far it looks like plus we just have so much firepower here's our playoff stats so far luca's actually shooting sub 50 percent which is also a big drop off from him five percent drop off maxi a little bit of a drop off as well and even siakam damn near the whole team but working out Boo 
Bruce is playing a good amount better. All right, DJ Wagner leads the Jazz to the finals, and we are back against Lori Marketing, DeJounte Murray, and DJ Wagner. They're three leaders. Our team is far superior. It actually would be terrifying if we lost this. We won game one. I, I didn't even check the stats, but screw it. One game two by 21 points. Game three, 48 by DJ Wagner to 37 from Luka, and our team still wins. I actually want to see if game one, okay, no, nobody did anything too crazy. And game four, they get off to the races to start 43 to 19 first quarter jazz take one blowing a 3-0 lead would be thankfully that will not happen the sixers we have won another ring two two rings in three years made a lot of bold decisions got him beat out of here it's very weird to think i, I know i'm a i'm an overthinker i'm in, i'm insane a little bit but you know i could have just kept them beat uh went along with the ship and sold again for the sake of whatever but nope we got luca here 25 8 and 10 just off of that uh and, and cam booze are the number one overall pick an absolute finesse at this league and uh screw it might as well keep the ball rolling luca had 45 in that last game too drew holiday retired i heard a lot of stories i think it was paul george's podcast with clay thompson and he talked they talked they were talking very highly uh, i just thought of it because i saw both their names of actually derozan as well it might have been the one with it was either with derozan or drew or, or with clay because they were both from california but yeah i feel like everyone tends to talk highly about college drew or uh high school drew or whatever anything anything pre nba slash college i'm gonna be honest i don't know what the hell i was doing i just simulated through the out of like a an instinct of doing simulations i did simulated through the whole playoffs i don't know if we even lost anybody or whatever let me check we lose maxi right yeah no look, oh you know what most of our team was on multi-year deals we're cool we have 13 players we might have lost a few of them literally trash players that i just didn't sign okay yeah we'll be all right any of those like young guys that uh that have great potential still out here kenny lofton has an a minus potential what the hell i'll sign this guy for uh yeah i actually probably could have got a pretty solid role player but it is what it is whatever maybe maybe uh the 2k gods were nerfing me by making me think to do that we are 45 and 6 as of today 45 and 6 is top tier elite maxi i have to resign him to literally this i guess with a little bit less money i could do but uh won't let me do anything else and yeah that's my dog that's my dog type i'm really more uh like that's that's a dog right there i rock with maxi heavy and uh siakam how many years left are on your deal see i'm gonna wait for siakam until next year because if you got two years left you're gonna get worse i don't even know if i'm gonna resign him in general but i, I might want to keep him around that's my other dog that i'm you know what i'm saying my bad my voice cracked you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm gonna take accountability for that that's my fault i'll call up the voice box guys next time uh Derek white minimum four years you don't want nothing screw it okay with that being said though i'm assuming every player is playing great mitchell robinson shooting almost 80 percent from the field oh Bronny he's playing this year for probably oh damn he's played a little he's played a little bit every year but almost every year i think no every year but this is technically his real rookie season and he's at 84 now there you go what the hell when did you take a how did he get that high of a jump okay well he's probably like he's an 82 without the morale boost he was like a 77 a year ago so he took like a four point boost in one season i guess i guess he just had to start playing because he's cooking now too yeah we have nothing to worry about we'll be fine damn didn't i just re-sign trey murphy he's not even in the rotation i don't care he's here for the ride damn i just seen that shaq dressed as emo jimmy butler for halloween that's funny luca won mvp again that's his third i think at least in the sim because i remember he won one on the mavs victor dpoi sorry you can't have them mvps buddy luca got him uh, i'd like to play the spurs in the playoffs though i mean not really but you know some adversity is needed we smoked our opponent last year this year still don't know how the playing thing i i keep not i don't even notice that the in-season tournament happens because yeah like i said they i think they just added it i don't know i don't I really don't care i'll care in real life but if they don't format it well enough to where i even i barely even notice it exists in 2k then why am i to care i don't think i'll care in real life either but it'll be interesting it'll add some spice to the season or whatever i don't think it changes anything in theory i, I think it's just a cash amount to make it interesting in december anyways we're, we've walked our way back to the finals against the exact same opponent oh no no no! i think uh i think what i, I just saw what was it dj wagner won mvp of the western M whatever conference but he didn't even make it he lost it's jabari smith and the warriors with De'Aaron fox i guess curry retired i think he did yeah so jabari smith and De'Aaron Fox and the Warriors. Am I scared? I don't know. Not really. They lost. They won four to two in the last round, and now they're playing some dogs though. So yeah, this is how, this is how you manage a team, buddy. I see Sohan over there too. They just grabbed every like third option from every team. Every young power forward in Texas. Looks like we got this one unlocked too. Is this just a dynasty? Oh damn, we lost the game. How about another one? There you go. Are those games close by any? I'll I'll uh simcast if these were close. Eh, five, six point win. Okay, okay, there you go. Three two, three two, three two. Good team so far a solid fight oh never mind cooked them 47 to 18 fourth quarter we win our another ring in golden state Bronny james had 25 he hasn't even played for us before this season luca only averaged 18 and we smoked him in 
won the finals. All right, at this point, I think I'll go for one more year. Now that, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to go for 20 years. You know, I, I uh, think we're pretty proven, man. I don't know. Greg Popovich, 36 years in the league. Dang, Steven Silas been around for 28. Did he play or something? Because he don't seem old enough to have played, been in 28 years coaching. Maybe he just looks young. I don't know. Harden and Jimmy Butler, retired jerseys, don't really care. NBA draft, if I finessed any pick. You know what? I did steal some picks from the Thunder, but they're good, aren't they? Actually, I don't know. Uh, they just barely make the playoffs. We could just get these picks out of here. Eh, screw it. I'll draft some players. Why not? Who's this guy? Who, Jamal McKnight? I feel like he ends up pretty good. Damn, I swear that's not how he looks from the Sims that I remember him from. Who the hell is this? Don't know. We'll, we'll take you through, though. Blake Wilson. Sound like he gonna make a country song in the locker room. Pretty good overalls for those two. Team options. Yep, keep those two. Qualifying offers. Oh, we gotta get Ron Holland and Bronny back. Good to know. Go ahead and offer those two off rip. Do they have any offers yet? Nope. That means I can finesse them a little bit. Front the contracts. As of right now, after we sign Bronny and Ron Holland back, the position we're gonna need most is nothing. I mean, we're literally insane. So I don't know why I'm even overthinking this. Anybody I wanna sign for fun? And I think with all those rookies, we actually literally probably can't sign anybody. Screw it. Just get my players back and call it a day. Who, wait, who was that? Wait, who was all the qualifying? Gafford, Jay, I forgot Gafford was, was even here. I think I plan on trading him after we got Mitchell Robinson. Who cares? Who not care? Uh, Bronny up to 86. Camboozer and Ron Holland up to 86 and 87. Is Ron, Can Boozer not become a 95 anymore? That's tough. And once again, don't really care. We got Luca. We're going into the 2020, damn, 2028-29 season. Been a very successful rebuild thus far. All stars in case you care. But guess what? We're champions. I don't really care at this point. I'll be honest. Let's be honest. All right, cool. Luca wants to re-sign with a player option. Hey, I'll give him all his money. I don't even know why I'm talking about this because literally I'm about to end the video, but it's all good. Hey, Pascal, you get your money. I think I saved some dollars on that probably by waiting a year. I don't know. We're 42 and 10. If we lose, I don't care. I can never lose in these shoes. MJ forever. Now this man, Victor, just pulled up as Slender Man for Halloween. Now that's fire. Victor, DPOY, Caden Boozer, most improved. Jason Tatum, clutch player. Coach of the year, Brian Gates. You're the first seed of almost 10 wins over anybody else. Simulate these players. Matter of fact, real quick, check the season stats. How we do? Damn, mad mad players averaging almost 20, but nobody averaging 20. Not even Luca. That's crazy. And I have rule changes off, so everything has to be the same in terms of like like uh you know pace and everything and foul. I don't I don't know. I, I be forgetting. Sometimes they'll change it to like what was it that one time that I some rule changed and it made it that everybody didn't want to score anymore. I forgot. Wait, Luca got benched for half the season for Bronny. Oh yeah, we're in hellish times. No wonder he didn't average 20. Is it because of that young thing I have on? It might be because of this. Oh God, don't don't ever do that again. Don't ever do that again. Playoffs, first round we win, second round we win, third round, ooh, two, two. We lose this game, I'll simcast. Nope, we won that one and game seven. I'd be down to see some gameplay if necessary, if possible, I should say, but nope. Gonna win this one as well. Finals and it's against, it should be against Victor. Yep, okay, cool. He won Western MVP. We're playing Victor in the finals. Game one is literally complete domination. 32 point win it's you know we're not gonna see no players getting 80 on our team because there's just too many good players but you know what it's gonna be bunch of 20s and dominated them in the third quarter holding on to it throughout the fourth another win it's like there's no chance of watching us play victor this game was a 40 point win and this game is another win cameron boozer finals mvp another 40 point win yeah one of the most dominant teams you could ever build on here thank you joel Embiid, for being a casualty of war and for getting a ring this is a very successful rebuild got joel a ring kept it pushing got even more rings without him all right it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun my bad that I almost uh died midway through and almost ended before we had this luca run but uh yeah subscribe to the channel if you breathe in any oxygen today and i'll see you around cut